there! I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm super excited to share this video with you because it expands on one of the most popular video series that I have on my channel and that is called Beating Saggy Skin and it uses the derma roller actually on my body skin but on my body skin I use a 1.5 derma roller and it is much wider and I just derma roll once per month and I show you my results after six months and later and I will link that video below because the results were really just incredible in helping get rid of sagging body skin on your arms, tummy, legs, that kind of thing. But when I was in the middle of that series I got a wonderful email back in July I think, it was July or August, from one of my viewers who was using a 0.5 derma roller on her face every single week, once a week, and she had incredible results in curing sagging skin on her face. And let me show you her before and after pictures because they are wonderful. You will be blown away by this. There is a far away picture of her. And as you can see in the before picture, she had really major sagginess under her eyes, several different under eye bags going there. And then in the after picture, look at her eyes. And that was after only two months of using the 0.5 derma roller once a week. And look at her after picture. It is unbelievable how quickly that derma roller did improve her sagging skin. And in addition to her under eye skin, just look at the overall look of her skin. First in the 11 line area, her skin just looks more youthful, more radiant, more glowing. And then in her cheeks, as you can tell in the after picture, you can really see that the skin just has a youthful look overall compared with the before picture. And the skin is just radiant and glowing. Absolutely wonderful. All she says due to using this 0.5 derma roller, and I'll tell you exactly what she did in just a few minutes. And we're going to be using this as an experiment going forward because I have already started using the 0.5 derma roller on my skin once a week. I do it Wednesday nights. And if you would like to see a video showing Showing how I actually derma roll my skin with this. There are lots of them all over YouTube and mine is really not much difference. But if you would like to see a video of me actually using the derma roller, I would be glad to show you that. Let's take a little more close up look at my viewers before and after pictures though. Here are her eyes and again as you can see myriad wrinkles in the before picture, lots of sagging skin even on the cheeks and certainly in the under eye bag area. And then just two months later, look at her eyes. Absolutely a wonderful improvement. It almost doesn't look like the same person. And in fact, that was a little problem when I received her before and after pictures. I had a couple of problems with them. First, they were so darn good that I thought nobody would believe them. And we emailed back and forth several times because I was like, are you sure this is all you did? Uh, you know, tell me exactly what you did. And I'll tell you her exact protocol in just a few moments. But the second problem I had was that I had always thought that on your facial skin, you should just derma roll once per month to give the collagen time to rebuild the, the little wounds that you're making using the derma roller because this is just a bunch of little needles here to give your skin time to heal and for that new collagen to come in. And so at that time, I was reluctant to share her results with you. And I will say, talk to your own esthetician before you do anything like this, because I'm certainly not a doctor and I don't want you to see this video and go out and do this at all. You know, you do need to make that decision for yourself between you and your own medical professional. But the fact that she used this once a week did concern me. However, a 0.5 is not a hugely deep needle. There you can see it there. I don't know if you can see, but it's really just 0.5 of a millimeter. It's not too deep at all. And some people use a lot more than that, one to two millimeters, which I definitely would not use on my face because I think you have a risk of scarring there. But this is a 0.5 derma roller, which is really not a long needle at all. But the fact she was doing it once a week, I had never really heard of that too much. And so I was a little leery to share that with you. Well, recently I was watching a video actually about derma rolling one's hair and I came upon L for Living's channel again. And I'd seen these videos, you know, a couple of years ago, but I fell on them again. And in one of the videos, she said that she uses a 0.5 derma roller once a week. And between times, she even uses the 0.25, which is the cosmetic depth of this. Um, every now and then, sometimes as much as every other day. But she did say that she used the 0.5 once a week and she shows great before and after results. And so I was reminded of my viewers' great results 
and the fact that Elle for Living put out a video about it with her great results using this once a week. I'll link that video below. But the fact that Elle was also using the 0.5 Derma Roller once a week and was having great results made me remember that viewer and think it is time to share her great results with you. And not only that, I am going to be doing this experiment. I have already used this 0.5 Derma Roller over two different Wednesday nights, and I took before and after pictures before, and so over the course of the next six months or so, I will be showing you my results. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to be following that viewer's exact protocol because personally, I think it's more the use of the derma roller once a week that makes the biggest difference of anything, but I will go ahead and tell you what she did. First, she washed her skin very well with CeraVe cleanser and made sure everything was very sanitary there. Then she used hyaluronic acid, which is great for its slip factor. It's a great humectant for your skin and it helps the derma roller slip around your skin. And that HA acid, I believe, also keeps you from maybe wounding yourself where you shouldn't, like if you accidentally pull the derma roller in not a straight line, you could get a little extra cut there. And that HA acid to me just really gives you enough slip that that doesn't tend to happen. And then after her derma rolling, she follows up with Quinn's Rose Water Toner. As she said, it calms down the skin. And again, I have never tried this exact protocol. And so I'm not telling you to do that, but I did want you to know how my viewer got her great results. And I will say that finding good derma rollers is kind of a challenge. When you look on Amazon, you know, you put in 0.05 derma roller and you get a lot of 0.25s or you'll get like a 1.5, you get all these different things. And it's funny because in the descriptions, the main thing I care about is that needle depth and that's almost never in the Amazon description. But I did find a brand called Prosper Beauty and I make nothing on this. I will put the link below for you, but they do not have an affiliate program at all. So I will make nothing if you order these but I thought this was a good solution, at least for me. And this one was about $35, and it includes the little handle, and I think four of the little heads in 0.025, and again, that's the cosmetic depth. You know, you can derma roll your skin, you know, every other night, something like that with a 0.25, and then put your actives over that. And again, the 0.25 is just a cosmetic depth. It supposedly does not grow collagen, but I have combined this with some more little heads that are the 0.05 heads. And here is that, and I've got them labeled here. And I think there are four different heads in this, and this may have been like $25. And I do think sanitation is super, super, super important. Whenever I derma roll my skin, I wash it a couple of times and then I go over it with an alcohol wipe because I just want to make sure that everything is sanitary. After I use the derma roller, I do spray it with alcohol and let it dry before I put it back in its case. And I think it is important to change your derma roller maybe every five or six uses, something like that. If you don't, one of these little tines could be askew and could cause you some problems and maybe some scarring. So I think it's very important to always kind of use a sharp derma roller. And to me, ordering the 0.25 kit with the little handle and the 0.05 heads separately is really great because you always have a different clean head whenever you want to use that. Dr. Davin Lim actually says that you should use a brand new head every time you derma roll. Personally, I don't think that's necessary as long as you're really liberal with your use of alcohol and keep everything very sanitary. Well, that was a look at the very beginning of my next series, which is hopefully solving saggy facial skin. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, I hope you'll subscribe and or click the bell and or share this video with a friend. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. I've been going through something personal in my family. One of, one of my family members is going through something very trying. I hope this card will give me some good tips on dealing with that. Let's see. Ooh, this is funny. The qualities I dislike in others are disowned parts of my shadow. The qualities I dislike in others are disowned parts of my shadow. Oh my, this really does kind of relate to that. And again, I won't tell you about the situation. However, it does involve a relationship between a man and a woman. And I have very big issues with that particular woman. And I had a good friend of mine who said, Beth, you are so against her. You have such a strong reaction. You need to really look at your heart and see if you're similar to her in some ways. And unfortunately, when I really did that, I took an afternoon, maybe an hour or so, and I sat down with a sheet of paper in front of me and I thought, how am I similar to this woman that I have issues with? 
Um, she's in one of my family members' life, and it's not going well. And I realized that, oh, my land, everything I was disliking about her were really pieces of my own self. Things like selfishness, because I can be selfish sometimes. Things like being a little heavy-handed with people, yelling sometimes. I can do that. And also things like when I want my own way over someone else's way. And I realized that everything that I was having problems with in her were really things that I had in my own heart and were things that I too needed to work on. So friends, just for today, as you go through your day, if you come upon someone that really elicits that uh in you where you go, oh, I can't stand them, really take a look at it because this is so true. Sometimes the qualities we dislike in others are disowned parts of our own shadows. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.